So good day everyone. So for uh, today, I will be discussing our module 3, lesson 1, which is a food preparation equipment. So this is our module 3 in uh, HMP 12. Objective. So at the end of this chapter, the student must be able to identify different food preparation equipment. You know? And they should also master the use and function of such equipment know their proper handling and care so it is important to learn how to use food preparation equipment correctly because uh, thorough knowledge of kitchen tools are essential for success in the kitchen modern technology continues to improve kitchen tools to a more specialized and technical equipment to reduce the labor in the kitchen or to maximize our time and effort so in this chapter we will discuss the most commonly used equipment in culinary operations first we have the primary equipments so these are the ranges conventional ovens convection ovens micro microwave ovens refrigerators and dishwashers so this uh, compromises the primary equipment so ranges ranges can have a, an open or flat top surfaces with electrical or gas burners so the range is your kitchen's most uh, versatile appliance so it combines a stove and an oven in a single appliance, offering you a convenient way to fry, boil, broil, and bake all your favorites. So a cooking range can help make the most out of every meal every day. You know? So we have two kinds of ranges, which is the flat top range and an open top range. When you say a flat top range, it is a type of cooking range whose surface is sort of a cross between a griddle and a grill so unlike a grill a flat top doesn't have a grate but simply a flat cooking surface and unlike a griddle you can use pots and pans on a flat top in addition to cooking uh, the food uh, no, directly on the surfaces so we can cook directly ha yeah, surface meaning a flat top range next we have the open top range uh, these are the traditional commercial design you know, and it features a circular vent around the burner's components. <clears throat> so, uh, if spills can fall into the flame and down inside the range itself, I know, however, a drip tray catches the spills and all burner's parts can be removed for cleaning thoroughly. Okay. Next, we have, we have the do's and don'ts I know, uh, in using the ranges. First, we uh, should make sure gas pilots are lit before turning on burners. So if burners do not light, uh, turn off the gas and allow the gas to ventilate before trying to light it again. Uh, because ano, uh, in some instances, you might uh, have uh, or you might cause blaze ano, that might cause you a uh, second to third degree uh, burns, ano, which, is, which uh, is pain, ano, redness, and swelling of, of any parts of our body so next we have do not keep flat top ranges and high heat unless items are being cooked over them because it might damage the, uh, the top range okay next we have the ovens so ovens can either be a part of the range you know, and it's usually located below it and it can uh, also be uh, a separate unit so usually, atan tagsatag sa nga panimalay, uh, it iba may adahira o uh, a range nga it ubos oven. So ovens can be used for baking and roasting and sometimes for bracing, poaching, and even uh, simmering. So ovens rely on hot air for heating food, primarily uh, convection. Ano? So we will have, uh, uh, I will show you. Uh, examples of oven first we have the stack or deck oven so this is uh, usually used uh, in bakeries you know? a deck oven is a type of oven that is frequently used for commercial baking so the purpose of a deck oven is to create an environment inside of the cooking chamber that contains a consistent level of heat that can be manipulated as needed Next, we have the convection oven. So it, it has a fan that circulates hot air and therefore uh, baking contents more quickly. 
So the use of convection setting on your convection oven uh, is uh, used for cooking, you know? roasting and baking meats, including meats, vegetables, casseroles, cookies, and pies. So with convection roasting, uh, meats like chicken and turkey can get a delicious crispy outer layer while staying juicy on the inside. Next, we have the revolving or carousel oven. So it is a versatile and reliable. When you say uh, versatile, it is more flexible. When you say reliable, it has the quality of performance. You know? Revolving ovens are ideal for a wide range of products from breads, bagels, and sweet goods to pizza meats, and so much more. Okay? Next, we have the impeachment oven. So, it has uh, hot air jets that uh, uh, cook food more quickly. So, it has a nozzle blast hot air that uh, uh, cook foods four times faster than, than a uh, conventional oven. In commercial or industrial kitchen, it is used uh, to reduce the cook time and scale up production. Okay, next we have the infrared oven. Uh, it has a very hot infrared bulb that generates heat. So, there are two major benefits uh, to using infrared radiation for cooking most notably with grilling. In short, infrared radiation ensures food is heated via radiation and not convection, and thus provides far more even consistent heat across the entire grill. Next, we have the brick-lined or hearth oven, uh, a mansory oven colloquially known as a brick oven or stone oven, uh, consisting of a baking chamber made of fireproof brick concrete, clay, uh, or stone, or cob. So, um, modern mansory ovens are closely associated with artisan bread and pizza. But in the past, they were used for any cooking task involving baking. So, uh, we used uh, this kind of oven in, in roasted vegetables, baked or grilled fish, and slow-cooked meats, or fl flamed rib eye steak. Next, we have uh, the pizza oven. So the pizza oven, you know, are specifically used for uh, cooking pizza, and <clears throat> only. So uh, it has a characteristic that has a very hot temperature. So it is talaga specified lahiya para ganitan uh, uh, hot pizza. Okay. Next we have the microwave oven. So a microwave oven is an electric oven that heats and cooks food by exposing it to electromagnetic radiation in the microwave frequency range. So microwave oven is a very versatile kitchen uh, appliance that offers a whole range of uses. It can be used to reheat, ano, nato mga pagkaon, and cook food. Danay, ging gagamit gapia to disinfect kitchen items. But, uh, Metals are not allowed, ano ha? <coughs> Microwave oven. Why? Ke because it can cause ano, currents to flow in metals. However, uh, if thin pieces of metal, ano, the current may heat the metal hot enough that causes fire. Ano. Okay, next we have these are the do do's and don'ts ano, uh, in using ovens. Preheat ovens. Uh, thoroughly but no longer than necessary so that we can avoid excess energy use. Next, uh, to avoid high energy loss and interruption of cooking, do not open the door more often than necessary. So opening the uh, oven door causes cold air to rush into the oven, dropping the temperature and interfering with uh, the rise of your baked goods. So it's best not to open the door until the baked goods have fully risen and you've, uh, you're you ready to check the doneness of your baked goodies. So next we have a space item so that uh, you can allow uh, the heat you know, for a better circulation. Okay, next we have the refrigerators or freezers. So as discussed, the most important factor on preventing foodborne illness is the control of critical uh, point temperatures. Therefore, the proper refrigeration and 
freezing of foods must be maintained. So refrigerator temperatures should be maintained at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius and freezers or freezers compartments at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius. Next, we have the dishwashers. So there are two categories of dishwashers. No? These are the household dishwasher and commercial dishwasher. A dishwasher is a machine that we use to clean uh, dishware and cutlery uh, automatically. So we have the household dishwasher, which uh, we often use at home. And we also have the uh, commercial dishwashers. Uh, these are the industrial dishwashers that are available for use uh, in some commercial establishments such as hotels and restaurants. You know, for they have uh, many dishes to wash. Next, we have the three basic types of household dishwashers. So we have first the built-in dishwasher, integrated under the counter to match the cabinets. So built-in, it is designed to match the rest of your kitchen cabinets. Next, we have the portable dishwasher. So you used as soon as the hoses are attached to the kitchen faucet and one rains into the sink. So portable uh, is just a regular dishwasher that you can uh, move around when you need it. Uh, you, can, you can roll over to a sink, plug it in, hook it up uh, not a faucet and start to cycle. And it draws uh, clean water as necessary and then pumps the dirty water into the sink. Next, we have the convertible dishwasher. It is used as a portable or installed permanently as a built-in. So if a portable dishwasher is convertible, it has a removable uh, caster wheels. So that can, it can be used to roll the appliance into a convenient spot of your home or taken off so you, you can uh, place the appliance in another place you know, at home. Next, we have the auxiliary auxiliary equipment. So when we say auxiliary, uh, it means providing a supplementary or an additional help and support. So auxiliary equipment includes fryers, broilers, steamers, grills, cutting equipments, mixers, and coffee or tea makers. First, we have an example of uh, an auxiliary equipment is a griddle. So uh, griddles are uh, supplement range units and their larger, flat, smooth surfaces are ideal for preparing eggs, hamburgers, pancakes, French toast, and hash browns. So griddles must never be washed with soap and water, but must be cleaned with grease mop and soft cloth as to maintain the primed surface. Next, we have the tilting skillets. So it is found mostly in large food service operations, the tilting skillet or brazier or fry pan can be used to make anything from chili to poached eggs. You know? So the entire skillet can be tilted to pour out liquid-based contents. Next, we have the broilers and grills. So the difference between broiling and grilling is that it's heat source. So the broiler's heat is above the food, whereas the grills heat is below the food. Next, we have the salamander. Salamanders are small, small broilers used primarily for browning or glazing the tops of some items. So they may also be used for broiling small quantities and it can also be used for caramelizing, grilling, toasting, and hot holding dishes. Okay, next we have Steamers. So steamers are used to heat food by moist heat. So there are two basic types of steamers and are used in food service organizations. We have cabinet or compartment steamers and steam jacketed kettles. So first we have the cabinet steamers. You know? It is stacked one above the other with the door of each sealed tight with clumps. So Cabinet uh, steamers, this style of steamer is great for producing a large variety of foods that includes uh, frozen or fresh vegetables and frozen or fresh seafoods. I know. 
Next, we have the steamed jacketed kettles used more uh, of fluid type foods such as soups and stews. So it offer faster cooking, ano, and with sauces, pastas, puddings, stews, jams, jellies, soups, rice, and eggs, and even chocolates. Next, we have the deep fryer. So breaded fish and vegetables. Uh, Fried chicken and french fries are some of the foods commonly prepared in deep fryers. Frying is similar to boiling, except that in frying, ano, the liquid is fat or the oil. Ano, kay an oil, it can reach higher temperature than water. So most deep fryers have automatic heat controls. So usually, nakikita nini natin ha mga fast food uh, kitchen. Ano? Next, we have the wax. So, wax, this is a large bowl-shaped pan and it is used in central Chinese cooking, especially used for stir frying. But it has other potential uses as well. So, it used uh, to boil foods, filled with oil. Uh, it is also used for deep frying and can be used for steaming vegetables or seafood. Next, we have the crockery. Uh, the crockery, uh, it is a slow electric cooker and it is very popular 40 years ano, and are particularly good for moist heat cooking of meat ano, and legumes. So when we say legumes, amay to ang mga, ang mga beans, green peas, peanuts, and black beans. Okay, next we have the Rotisseries, ano? It is a device cooking meat, ano? Especially chicken by turning it around uh, slowly near a flame or stove. So it is a small electric motor rotates product and a speed as moist. Hot air circulates around food and uh, throughout the rotisserie's cavity. So remember this speed, it is a long skewer or metal rod that holds the meat. So it, if if the speed rotates. Uh, it cooks uh, the meat consistently or uh, the meat evenly and is constantly basting in its own juices. Labi na ha? Chicken. Next, we have the cutting equipments. So, meat slicers, food choppers, and grinders are common pieces of equipment in food service establishments. First, we have an example of a cutting equipment is a meat slicer. So, a meat slicer is a machine powered manually or by electricity designed to slice meat. So, it can also be used to slice other food uh, items such as firm cheese, cabbage, and other products. So, typically, a meat slicer is used to slice already cooked or cold meats into thin slices or for sandwiches. Okay, so we should always take note that uh, carelessness in the use of meat slicer can cause more food service accidents than any kind of equipment. So the following safety tip tips apply. The machine should always be unplugged when not in use. Okay, next, food chopper or cutter. They are usually used as help in dishes that requires a lot of chopping such as salsa, chutney, and soup. So food choppers are also handy for slicing up. So another potential dangerous piece of food service equipment is the food chopper or cutter. So the key to preventing injuries here is to turn the machine off, flip the safety catch on before removing the food with a bowl scra scraper. Next we have mixers. So mixers are convenient for controlling the rate at which ingredients are combined, especially when we are baking. So they are used to prepare whipped cream, uh, beaten egg whites, and mashed potatoes. So ging kagamit yapan niya ha icing ano heat cake and ha butter heat cake or cupcakes. Next we have blenders and food processors. Blenders and food processors are uh, uh, it allows further refinements to mixing food. So blenders have the blades or mixing component at the bottom. They are used for everything from making milkshakes to blending the vegetables used in making gazpacho, as it is a Spanish cold soup. So food processors are more versatile and more, uh, and it can allow cutting 
chopping, grinding, slicing, and shredding foods, and even kneading dough. You know? They come with specialized blades for accomplishing all this task, and many even come with a juicing attachment. Next, we have the coffee makers. So many homes and food service venues use automatic coffee makers daily. So food service operation, operations serve coffee from an electric burn or automatic coffee brewer. Okay, next we have the pots and pans. Generally, food handlers want two basic properties in pots and pans. Its surface uh, should be chemically unreactive so that it will not change the taste or edibility of the food. And in addition, it should conduct heat evenly and efficiently so that uh, local hotspots will not develop and burn the contents. Next, we have the saucepan. You know? A saucepan is perfect for boiling water. So a saucepan excels at cooking anything that mostly liquid. This means that it is great for stewing, simmering, uh, making soups, and surprisingly, you know, uh, making sauces and like pasta sauce. Next, we have the saucepats. Saucepats are used for simmering or boiling larger quantities of ingredients. So they generally have two short sturdy handles so that they can be lifted with two hands. So saucepats uh, and saucepans are distinguished by volume, usually uh, one to eight liters. And though they may look like uh, Dutch ovens, they do not have the same heating ability. Next, we have the kettle. So kettle, usually it is the most uh, popular uh, equipment uh, used to make hot beverages. So whether it is a sto uh, stove top or electric. So you uh, uh, kettle makes a uh, hot coffee or hot chocolate you know, or sometimes uh, electric, uh, electric kettle we can cook a uh, uh, or boil egg, you know, and sometimes heat a, a milk. Okay, next we have the straight-sided so saucepan. So, uh, this is a hard-working versatile pan. So, it sauté, it sears, and stir-fry like champs. So, they're deep enough for cooking stews and simmering sauces. Because they are white pans with a greater volume capacity, uh, straight-sided a uh, pan can also cook long pasta noodles evenly when added to boiling water whole. Okay, next we have the slope-sided saucepan. So slope-sided, uh, it is a sloped shape, you know, so uh, you can flip the food without a spatula. So slope side, you can tilt the liquids away from the solids and separate the solids from the uh, liquids better and thus cook individual pieces of food while keeping the others at a lower temperature. Next, we have the stock pot. So a stock pot is a large deep pot that is most often used to make stock, soup, stew, chili, and to boil noodles, pasta, corn, vegetables, and seafoods. So commonly made of stainless steel, uh, stocks, stock pots are available in a variety of sizes from 8 quart to 36 quarts for general home use and large sizes for commercial use. Next, we have the double boiler. Double boiler uh, provide precise temperature control. They provide even radiant heat by using water to heat the, condu the conductive surface of the smaller container. So that makes the double boiler a popular method for creating specific kinds of dishes and ingredients like chocolate sauce. Next, we have a saucier. It can be used to cook anything, a saucepan can. This means you can cook pasta, you can cook sauces, you can boil potatoes, make a stew or braise just as you would with a saucepan. Next, we have the casseroles. So casseroles are a uh, very versatile piece of kit also, so they can be used to make soups, uh, stews, pots, uh, roast, uh, roasted sauces, and the list goes on. For the home cook, a good one is essential. So a casserole that is suitable for hob and oven and is attractive enough for serving you know, at the table to maximize the practicality and maximize washing up.
Next, we have the sheet pan. So, a sheet pan, uh, it is a baking tray or a baking sheet that is flat, rectangular metal pan used in an oven. So, it is often used for baking bread rolls, pastries, and flat products such as cookies.